hi everyone welcome to another tutorial video we have this techno common 17 pro with this problem the phone is like switching on and not switching on at the same time but because i always like to monitor the current reading the current consumption from my easy power supply i took some time to understand what exactly is going on with the phone so you can see that the current is going up to 300 milliampere then returning to yeah like that kind of normal booting sequence right but there is something going on there are times that the phone and the phone is not switching on even though the screen is cracked the customer thought that the screen was a problem but the, the technician who gave me gave another new screen and the phone is not actually powering on so the phone is stuck at 156 milliampere at times and at times it stopped at 40 so because of that i noticed that the phone is trying to switch on even though it's not consuming a stable current when you connect it to charge which means that it's trying to switch on and also it's having some problems charging so because of this i noticed that maybe there is a, a shot somewhere in the pcb which was the last thing that i was thinking about the first thing the first part that i suspect was the backlight ic circuit and that's where we are heading to right now so i use my drilling machine to create a point so that i can easily pull up the shield from there and i applied my my paste paste or flux yeah i apply this and uh, yeah just to pull it out just to pull it out and surprisingly this was the the circuit with a problem like this was so good my analysis was so good that yeah i was like i'm the real time you get it so taking a look at this you will see that if you are used to working on backlight ic circuits 16 backlight ic circuits you will know that this burn ic right here is the fuse color resistor yeah that's the uh, leda line that is burned right there that's the leda inductor that is that is burned right there so first thing that you have to make sure you have to make sure that the led line and the circuit in general is not shorting maybe the burn is just the problem here you get maybe the burn it okay so as you can see we have some pcb burns right here which uh, yeah which is really bad as you can see so i will uh, zoom in that clearly so that we can see what we have to do we have to clean the burn area check if the inner layer also is good and also i had to test the other capacitors in the section to see if everything is okay this capacitor was okay no shot the vbat input was okay and the other side of the the diode was okay and that's the output the line that is going straight to the display which is the led da line so the line comes to this burned area right here to this burn coil that we just removed here so we use our drilling machine to clean everything here and the reason why we are doing this we are doing this to find the the inner layer inner line the line that is going into the pcb so that we can jump and also to see if you will see any shot because if there is a shot here from here to the screen connector you will notice a shot in that diode or those capacitors that we are testing there because this resistor that broke off right here cut off the circuit between the screen connector and this diode so i hope you do understand that so as you can see everything looks clear right here you can see we are focusing on this point at the right those two points so first when you want to do this type of jumper in a layer jumper that we are about to do you confirm any line that you found right there so i tested that line which i say confirm not gnz it was in the gnz and i confirmed that the other one is the leda so the other one that i confirmed that was in the gnz wasn't connected to any part so i had to do this so i had to do this just like that and very smooth just take a look well if you are watching and you want my courses the basic or the professional level course you can always get it from the link in the video description pin comment or send me a message on whatsapp using the number 
so just like that we created that solder point here we created that solder point and we will have to use our uv glue uv glue to to glue the area take a look at what i'm doing so just making sure that everything is clean before you apply the glue because if you apply the glue here it's not going to to uh, hold well so taking a look at the area everything seems okay and also when you are doing this you have to test make sure that the the, the solder point that you created is not in contact with gnd so i confirmed that already and now i'm applying the glue just like that and very smooth after applying the glue i go ahead to use my uv light to cure the glue just like that and very smooth while enjoying my music so you just apply that and uh, yeah as you can see we have a very smooth and beautiful solder point right there so forget about this other side we are just doing a jumper here this other side there is no need to connect that there is no need to connect that and that's because the other both both of these two lines are heading to the same place so i just had to jump up and leave this other side then go straight just like that i'm very smart and the reason why i doubled that cable is because this is the led a line that even goes about 30 volt when the phone is on so we just go ahead test the phone and everything is smooth thank you and see you soon